Hey, this is Kelvin Jones, and you're watching Radio Addict TV. Uh, where were you born? I was born in Zimbabwe, in Harare, the capital city. Uh, what's your favourite album of all time? Um, I'm called Where the Light Is by John. It's a live album. Alright, Noel or Liam? Ah, uh, no. No? No. Yeah, yeah. I think most people say that. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Uh, He's um, actually credited as one of the influences on my album. There's four names, and one of them is Noel Gallagher. Really? So, yeah, I, I guess I had to choose him. Yeah. First time you supported an artist on a tour like this? Mm. Uh, first time in the UK. It's the first time I've done it across the UK. Uh, no, I supported a uh, guy called Mark Foster in Germany, which was insane, good fun. Yeah. And then, ridiculous. And then I supported um, ex ambassadors uh, across Europe. So this is yeah, this is my third one. Third one. I did yeah, I record. It's so weird. I went straight into an album. Typically these days, you kind of put out an EP and let people enjoy that and then build it up. I just went, why not? Let's just do the album, man. Let's just get it, get it done. Um, so yeah, this is the first thing I've properly released. So, the story behind Call You Home, I wrote this song, and to me it was so obvious what it was about. Like, I was like, this couldn't mean anything else. And then I played with some of my friends. We were in a car, there was like three or four of us. And one of them was like, oh, this, is, this song's about this, about this, and this, you know, this is what it means to me. And I was like, wait, what? What song did you listen to? And the other person came up with like a different, entirely different word for what the song means. And I started realizing it means so many different things, and, it, and they all make sense to different people, but I have like a thing that it meant to me all, and when it started. But yeah, so I can't say what it's about, just because I want to ruin it, man. I think it's like it's cool to have like people guessing and thinking. Is there any particular standout blues artist? Um, I mean, my favorite artist is a guy, American guy called John Mayer, who does blues pop, and he's, I mean, he's a ridiculous, to me, a genius in combining the two and just ridiculously talented at both. And I've got a BB King, BB tattoo. The first time I ever realized you can express yourself without words was listening to that man play. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of German festivals, gonna be doing a bunch of English festivals, but yeah, I just wanna be everywhere, dude. Did you find the whole recording and writing process of, that, of the record, did you find that stressful or did you find it fun? No. Was it something that was, how you had fun making it? Both. Both. I heard it and it was, it wasn't bad, it was just okay. And okay is not good enough. And I was yeah. like, this, we can't put this out, this is just okay. Why would we put out okay music? And I remember just being really frustrated and then had ideas and then came back and we fixed it within two or three days and it was like, okay, now this is what we've been trying to make. When they asked me, um, do you want to make your album in England or do you want to do it in Berlin? I was like, is that even a question? Like, yeah. of course I want to do it in Berlin because it's such a cool city. You played in Portsmouth a few times, then. you must have a lot, man. That's where I learned how to play in front of people. But it was in that time that I just kind of fell in love with playing in front of people, man. We we'll finish the UK tour in Dublin and then head up to Europe and do some stuff there. What you, what you learn to do is deal with the boredom. That's, yeah. the, that's the key thing. I did this thing. I'm calling karaoke that I invented myself, hashtag James Corden. Um, and it's just like me and the guys just singing some songs and just going crazy to them. And it's just, it's just those little things. If you keep on doing that stuff, you kind of, you don't, you like, know, it's don't get too crazy. Though. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Apparently the album is out on the 18th of March. So that's, you were correct. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's I don't fine. know my stuff. That's fine. I don't know my stuff. No but worries. yeah, it was 18th of March, yeah, yeah. That's terrific. Thanks but yeah, thanks a lot, man. That's cool.